and bombshell developments in the terror attack on the U.S. consulate on Benghazi. The State Department and U.S. forces have always said that our military could not respond to that attack because it happened too fast. Here's former Joint Chiefs Chair Admiral Mike Mullen on this back in December. Watch. But there simply was not enough time for U.S. military forces to have made a difference. Having said that, it is not reasonable nor feasible to tether U.S. forces at the ready to respond to protect every high-risk post in the world. But now sources telling Fox News that that was not the case. A special operator with specific knowledge of the attack that night tells Fox News that a response team could have swooped into Benghazi within hours, according to their knowledge of the events. And that would have possibly saved lives. Remember, the two former serials were killed in the final hour of that battle. So there are big questions ahead of the president's news conference this morning. And Adam Housley joins me now live on this in Los Angeles. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Martha. Yeah, we've, we've talked to a number of people over a course of the last four months or five months as this has gone forward, and they've all said the same thing, but no one would go on camera. They were afraid to go on camera, really. Four different sources that I've personally spoken to would not go because they were afraid of where they stood. That all changed with this source, who says not only could they have been there in time, but they should have been there in time. I know for a fact that C-110, the UCOM SIF, was doing a training exercise, not in the, in the region of Northern Africa, but in Europe. And they had the ability to react and respond. The C-110 is a commander's in extremist force, in layman's terms, a 40-man special operations force capable of rapid response and deployment, specifically trained for incidents like the attack in Benghazi. That night, they were training in Croatia, just three and a half hours away. We had the ability to load out get on birds and fly there at a minimum stage. C-110 had the ability to be there, in my opinion, in four to six hours from their European theater to react. They would have been there before the second attack. They would have been there before the second attack. Uh, they would have been there at a minimum to provide a quick reaction force that could facilitate their exfil out of the uh, problem uh, situation. Nobody knew how it was going to develop. And you hear a whole bunch of people and a whole bunch of advisors say, hey, we wouldn't have sent them there because, you know, the security was an unknown situation. No one knew that. If it's an unknown situation, at a minimum, you send forces there to facilitate the exfil or medical injuries. We could have sent a C-130 to Benghazi to provide medical evacuation for the injured. Of course, we've been given timelines by a number of different agencies. They don't add up. Just the open source intelligence shows that. But we've been told that these teams could have made it there. The response from the administration, some of the people in the military, has been that they flew to Italy and it would have taken too much time. But this source and other ones have said from the outset that the team specifically training in Croatia could have been on that plane within an hour. They also say there was a team available possibly in Spain that could have made it there in time, as well as in Germany. Um, as you can see, Martha, there's a lot of information starting to come out now as people are getting a little more confidence to step in front of cameras. And we'll see what the response is, if there's any response, because so far they've told us we had no way of getting there in time, but now people that were directly involved say that's just not true. Yeah.